Hey guys, Circushot here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little tutorial on how to use Autodesk Sketchbook. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you use this? How do I use the tools? All those wonderful questions, and I'm sorry it's taken so long for me to put up a tutorial, but it's just, life happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, um... Before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support on both my Instagram, my Twitter, and my YouTube. It's just amazing and just mind-blowing to think that, wow, you know, support. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. And so, seriously, guys, thank you guys so much. And another thing, I have the Pro Tools, which means I have more layers. I have the time-lapse. I have more tools. I have more colors and all that stuff so if anybody's wondering how did i get all this stuff it's because i bought the pro tools and that is only $2.99 um and it gets you all the amazing stuff and i definitely um recommend it especially if you're like me and you cannot afford like a really good <laughs> software for digital art and so you only have your phone and that is me right now <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to get started right now. Now this little blue, light blue um, donut, that is actually my stylus. So you see that waving around here right now. Um, but I'm actually going to get started on the tool settings and such. Down here you have another donut. <laughs> and that will get you, like I said, to your tool settings. And that is how you adjust your sizes, your opacities, and all that beautiful stuff. Now up here you have your clear, you, um, clear your layers, you can go to change your um, perspective, and then you have your back button and forward button, and that's how if you want to re redo, or you just want to get rid of something that you totally messed up on. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all there is here, you know, you swipe left to go down in size, you swipe right to go up in size. Opacity. I have the wrong tool for this to show you guys, but opacity will give you your different um, variation in colors, which means this darker blue right here, that would be the strongest opacity. But you see this little this, the, the lighter blue right there? That would be your lowest opacity. It gives you different variations in the same color. So that is what all there is for that little donut down there. Now up here, you got this little button right here, and that's how you get to your login menu and all that beautiful stuff. You can go to new sketch, your gallery, you can share, and that. And your gallery, that is how you get to all your other different sketches that you have made. And for me, I do a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that is how you get to it, and all you have to do is just click into it, and you can return back to your session that you've been doing. Now up here, this little button, that just gets rid of your little um, menu up there. So how about you're like me and you don't like to see your little menu up there. You just click that to get to get it back on and you click it again to get rid of it. Now right here you have another tool section and that's how you can select. You can have symmetry and with symmetry means that you can draw you know the same on both sides and such. And I barely use that it's just I don't. <laughs> But then you got your styles, um, you can draw straight, you can draw squares, rectangles, circles, ovals, all that beautiful kind of stuff. And then you got your time lapse, and that's what I use, this right here, that's how I do a lot of my speed paints, because I can't find a really good um, time lapse video that will record my art like the way it does for this one. And so I recommend the Pro Tools just because of this, because it's so good. Um, then you got you, know, you got your fill can, you got your guides. That's kind of like a ruler, like you can. I, I, I never use this, I'd rather use the uh, other. But that is how you do that. But this is very, this is very um, good, like maybe you guys want to make like a half moon or something. You can use that and it'll give you like a little circle right there. It's very, very simple, and it's just very easy. And then you, you can import your images, like maybe you need to see a pose that you need to recreate, or you want to do another drawing, or you need to see a skin that you need to draw in your own form. 
that is how you do that. Now transform, transform, oh dear. Transform um, will only work if you have all your layers combined. And that kind of just showed you right there that it didn't work. See, because it will actually um, move your layer that you have set to transform. So you will only be able to do that until you have all your layers combined. And until then, you can do not do that or you mess up. <laughs> text, that's how you like import a text. So put in a text and you can drag it to wherever area you would like on there. You can change the color, you can change, you know, you can change the um, fonts. That's how you kind of like drag, that's another way of dragging it. I, I don't use that. <laughs> but yeah, that's all for that selection right there. So right here you have all your tools. Um, and by tools, I mean you got your pens, you got your pencils, you got your paint brushes, erasers, all that kind of stuff. Now like I said before, I have the Pro Tools. So I have a lot more synthetic paint, smudge, and a few other things like the like the time lapse and the transform and all that kind of stuff with the Pro Tools. Now over here you got your color wheel. Now your color wheel, you know, it's just simple as ever. Down here you get more colors with the Pros and then up here, this little four tone you go into your Copic markers. Now this is actually all the Copic markers that are actually colors and they will actually give them to you for your Pro Tools for the ones that you bought. I use these sometimes for like really cool the colors for the backgrounds and such but I barely use them. Now over here like I've been showing you before <laughs> is your layers. Um, I'm able to go up to 16 layers on a regular photo and for a smaller, I'm only up to 7 layers. So I always use 16 layers because I use so many layers, it's not even funny. <laughs> but layers are a huge thing and people don't understand layers until they really get into it. Because if you do not do your layers correctly, then you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, if you click onto a layer, you get these different types of um, settings. You can copy, you can cut it, you can duplicate it, clear it, and that's how you merge all of your layers together. And then you can transform it, and I will show you that here in a minute once I actually show you how to use a little bit so you guys can know how Autodesk Sketchbook works. Um, but down here, these I don't use much, only if I'm using like a galaxy background. But other than that, these will just give you like different um, settings for, your, for the layer that you want to have. And it's very hard to explain since I don't really have a background to show you that at the moment. But yeah, but layers mean everything. Um, I'm actually going to give you guys a little quick tutorial on layers real quick so you guys know. Um, my first layer here, um, well it says layer 3 of 3, but it's actually my first layer, the first thing that I started on. That is actually the outline. That is the outline that I have done. Um, <clears throat> and that, that's how you, I, I do um, my outline first and then I do a second layer underneath of it, down here underneath of it because it will not go past the line and the only reason why I do that because if I do then it looks like that it's not very attractive <laughs> so always put your outline layers first at the very top then create another layer for your for your colors highlights and shadows and all that kind of stuff and I will get into that with another tutorial but I just wanted to let you guys know that so once you guys get started, you guys will know that's a very important thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually going to show you guys a little bit of my technique actually right now. Like with my smudging, this is how I will, um, this is how I will blend in my colors a lot of times. It's with the smudging tool. It is, I absolutely love it. I'm glad I have it back. 
and it's just it's I, I love it <laughs> it is probably the best thing that it's just it's totally worth buying because once you smudge in all your colors and everything and you add in a really cool background then you get a really amazing image and I totally recommend it and for anyone who believes that they cannot do it I, I'm coming from someone who never thought I could do anything and then look at me now I mean if you believe hard enough you can do and you can achieve amazing things so immense just wonderful things I'm losing words just everyone is meant to be here but yeah I mean it's pretty simple I mean you can go in and you can do whatever you like to do you can keep smudging keep smudging to however you'd like it to be until you get it to how you want it to be and then you're like oh perfect and so how about you need to add another layer for maybe like highlights and shadows so highlights and shadows you would always have at the very top so you can have it over everything. Now for my highlights and shadows I always use the airbrush effects. The airbrush, the airbrush, yeah I'm losing my words right now. It can give you like a little, give you like a little highlight and I always use these because they just, it makes it more realistic if you want my personal opinion. But you guys can do whatever you guys would like to do. If you guys want to use a smudging tool to make it more realistic, you guys can go ahead and do that. It's whatever you guys feel comfortable with and such. I mean, it's just whatever your imagination can put you to. I mean, that's all, that's all you can do. It's just whatever your imagination wants, you do it. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it off right here. I mean, I pretty much went over all the basics and everything. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you like this and you would like to see more, please um, hit a like and maybe comment down below what else you would like to see. So this is out for Shot and this little kitty. 